Hi, I'm Mike Keenan, one of the coordinators for the Electro, Mechanical, and Automation Maintenance Program here at Conestoga College. Thank you for your interest in our program. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to talk about what the program is all about and explain how graduates can fast track to an exciting career in the industrial trades. Electro, Mechanical, and Automation Maintenance is a big name for a big program. We offer a unique combination of training in three high demand areas of industrial maintenance in one comprehensive two-year diploma. Those areas are industrial electrician, industrial millwright, and automation technician. When these three areas are combined, they're known as the field of mechatronics. And now we're focusing on this combined field from a skilled trades perspective. We also offer qualifying students a 420 hour paid co-op term after the completion of the first year. This is a great opportunity to connect with employers and start creating pathways toward employment upon graduation. Our goal is to produce highly skilled total package tradespeople that will be a valuable addition to any industrial maintenance team. How are we going to do that? Let's start by having a look at the first two areas of study, the electromechanical components of this program. We combine the educational outcomes of the first two levels of both the industrial electrician apprenticeship and the industrial millwright mechanic apprenticeship training and award graduates equivalencies for those levels. That means after you've secured employment as an apprentice journey person in either trade, you would only need to complete the third and final level of each trade to work towards your Red Seal certification. This benefits the employers as each apprenticeship level requires the trainee to attend full-time classes for eight to 10 weeks at a time. Losing a team member for this much time can be disruptive to a facility's maintenance structure. This also benefits the apprentice as these training sessions generally are unpaid and involve commuting or even relocating temporarily, depending on where you live. Apart from the three levels of in-school training, an apprentice is also required to accrue approximately 7,000 to 9,000 hours of on-the-job training with their employer. After these criteria are met, apprentices write a Certificate of Qualifications exam. A grade of 70% or higher is required to obtain Red Seal certification, which allows you to work anywhere in Canada. This program is especially beneficial if your goal is to become a dual ticketed tradesperson, meaning you hold credentials for two trades, in this case, electrician and millwright. Being dual ticketed drastically increases your employability and earning potential. Speaking of earning potential, you're probably wondering, how much can I make working in these trades? Well, a licensed electrician or millwright can expect to earn between $30 to $40 per hour, depending on the industry and employer. A dual ticketed tradesperson could see that increase to $40 to $50 an hour, excluding overtime and benefits. As far as employability goes, it is estimated that Ontario is facing a shortage of nearly 200,000 skilled workers right now. This shortage is projected to climb nearly 500,000 vacancies in 2030. The jobs are out there, but the pool of skilled workers for employers to draw from is just not large enough to fill the demand. We work closely with many top local employers to connect their hiring departments with our highly skilled graduates every year with a very high success rate. Now let's talk about the automation part of this program. This is a component that has been generating a lot of interest from employers and really sets this program apart from the rest because no other post-secondary maintenance program offers training that prepares tradespeople to install, program, and maintain this specialized equipment. In this program, we focus on industrial robotics and automated process control systems called Programmable Logic Controllers, or PLCs for short. In addition, students learn about the various communication protocols and safety integration techniques that get all these machines talking to one another and running smoothly. In the second year, we introduce various components and systems that are typically found in automated facilities. These are vision systems, 
collaborative integration, servo and motion control, and automated mobile robots, commonly known as AMR or AGVs. The ability to set up, maintain, and troubleshoot these systems is a huge thing missing in industry. Automation has been an integral part of all industrial sectors for some time now, and the application of these new technologies grows exponentially every year. Like I mentioned earlier when discussing the shortage in skilled trade workers, the demand for skilled workers in automation outnumbers the qualified applicants seeking employment. New technologies in the field of mechatronics are constantly forcing the skilled trades to grow and adapt. One of the major advantages of our program is, instead of waiting to get a job and then spending time working there before you're given the opportunity to learn the new technologies, we introduce the new technology upfront, so you hit the floor running at your new job. We introduce the concepts of SCADA systems, supervisory control and data acquisition, as a means to pull data from equipment to better determine the proper maintenance routines and strategies to ensure efficient equipment operation. Industrial Internet of Things, IIoT, is a big thing as well. Being able to pull data from simple devices, sensors, valves, cylinders, and feed that back in real time to the maintenance professional to determine the issues and understand the status of the facility. Then there's all the communication protocols to make all these devices talk together. IO-Link, MQTT, Ethernet IP, OPC are all highly prevalent systems that need to be maintained and improved by the skilled trades of the future. Those skilled trades people could be you. One last point I'd like to make sure you take away today is that all this training I'm talking about begins with the student learning the fundamental concepts first. There are no special skills or previous experience required to be successful in this program. If you have a basic mechanical aptitude and an interest in the subject matter, and if you're willing to challenge yourself, this program is for you. I hope that this information has been useful to you as you're deciding what your educational goals are. I know that this was a lot of information all at once. So if you have any questions or would like to know more about anything I've talked about today, please do not hesitate to contact me or my colleague and fellow program coordinator, Josh Hamilton, by sending either of us an email at the addresses listed below. Thanks a lot for your time.